We're here with uh, legendary comics creator uh, Eric Powell of The Goon. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Uh, looks like we're back on track now. Uh, we've got a couple of last issues coming out uh, that seems to be continuing the, uh, the storyline of The Goon, uh, all downhill, bad things <laughs> happening. Uh, is there any uh, is there any information you can give us as to who is coming at the end of issue forty uh, one? Well, um, the uh, we're going to find out a little bit about the zombie priest and where he came from and the rest of his his people. It seems and, like uh, there's a bigger threat besides the zombie priest coming in. Yeah, there's uh, he's he's kind of small potatoes compared to these guys, so um, he's even afraid. So it's going to get pretty, uh, pretty gruesome and pretty, pretty brutal, pretty fast. Now, are we looking at a, uh, a bi-monthly release, or are we looking at going to a monthly? Uh, this is this is monthly, um, and uh, actually, I think with issue 40, we went monthly. So um, it's it's going to be monthly indefinitely right now. And um, this the storyline I'm working on now, I don't even know how. I don't even know how long it's going to be. It's it's going to be pretty epic in you know number of issues it's going to cover. So looking at new fancy on. pants coming out afterwards after a little while. Yeah, I think we're going to do a different type of uh, uh, hardcover program. Um, I think we're going to maybe start doing some omnibus stuff. Uh, so and I'm not sure we're going to go back to the fancy pants format because it was pretty much all over the place and wasn't you know linear and right. the collections. But uh, uh, we're just trying to figure out the format right now. But we are planning on more hard covers. Okay. Okay. Some time ago, you did a video on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, which you have since taken down. Um, I, I, yes. thing, yeah. Now, I, I have a website that champions uh, independent creators and creator-owned comics, uh -huh. and for the longest time when I started this site, I was looking for that video yeah. posted prominently on there. Now, well, I understand the reasons for taking it down. Well, my reasons were it, it didn't accomplish what I wanted it to accomplish, which was to get people in comics to band together and do this. And accomplished two things. It got people arguing about why superhero comics sucked and this and that and whatever. And it was like, well, that's not what I was... The argument, the argument is, let's do new original content. And then no one came along to... It was like, I got a lot of pats on the back, and then everyone took five steps away. Yeah, and do, yeah. then to make make it worse, I got a bunch of people like sending me their comics, going like, if you really cared about creator own comics, you'd help me get my book published. So right. it's kind of like, I, after that, I was just kind of like, fuck all you guys, and just took it down. So it was like, it didn't, it, I, wasn't, it wasn't accomplishing what I wanted it to. You know, so I, I it got, wasn't worth the headache. I got the message. Go. I got the <laughs> message when I saw yeah. the video, and thought I was really profound. And I thought, wow, this is really something that we need to put out there. But you went ahead, and I think uh, explained it a little better a couple of issues ago in the June. Yeah. Uh, which was... Which I can get away with the satire, but apparently when I say it, you know... Well, see, that's just the thing. Say it, I, it thought, makes angry. I thought it might be a little different. I thought you might have gotten a lot of blowback from that particular issue because it was very pointed at DC, you know, very pointed at the Green Lantern. Uh, it was pointed, not, I mean, they, it was pointed at both. I mean, because Marvel and DC are basically doing the same stuff. It's yeah. like, oh, we have multicolored Green Lanterns, we have multicolored Hulks, and it's like, you know, it was just, I was making fun of all that stuff. But it's, it's still, it's just satire, you know, and it's, I think, I don't know, you got to have a sense of humor. I think, fire. though, what you were aiming for in the YouTube video, you were able to illustrate better in that comic. Did you have any feedback, uh, positive or otherwise, come back from that I one? I didn't get any, I, I think I got one guy who sent me a negative email, but the point he was making was so off topic that it didn't even make any sense in, in the context of what I did. But, uh actually got a lot of positive response from the comic. It's weird. I, I came to the conclusion that since I was saying the same stuff in the video and then I did the same kind of thing in the comic, that it's just people don't like my face. It's okay. like they can get away with it seeing it and reading it in the comic, but they see me it coming out of my face, it makes them angry. So okay. that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, we're talking about, uh, and 
I don't think this is a, you know too much of a compliment, but you're one of the, the bigger names in the uh, independence and two dark horse, of course. But between dry, uh, laying drywall and this, um, how how do you feel about your life now, knowing that this is what you do for a living? Uh, I feel much better doing this for a living than hanging drywall. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm pretty happy with where I am. I mean, I get to make my own books, do every do the stories I want to do, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty lucky. I'm ex I'm extremely lucky to to be able to make a living doing this. Okay, and the last question, the Goon. Uh, foreseeable future, just on and on. Yeah, I have no plans to, to stop anytime soon, so there's going to be a lot of a lot more Goon books coming out. Eric Powell, thank you very much. Thank you.